Tony, big win at Norwich today. What was your take on the performance? Um, committed, organised. Uh, team spirit was amazing. Um, connected together. It, it, all the stuff that you hope in away games, really. I think uh, we have to respect we played against a really good team who who were on a drive, really. That um, you know they got themselves into the top six um, and. Yeah, it was a big test for us to come, and yet I, I always have faith. I showed them all. I showed them all the chances against Fulham away this morning before the game. I mean, we had maybe a dozen really good opportunities, and yet, and yet Ahmed was involved in a lot of them. Obviously, wasn't here today, but um, just to show them really, because Abdullah played part of that game as well when Ross Stewart came off. So Abdullah was in a lot of them clips as well and played today. So just wanted to be positive, aggressive, and yet you do get pushed back by a good football team. We did have to defend very well today, and. Um, yeah, we were, we were compact and we broke away, particularly the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes, we looked like we could score at will, really. At, uh, you know, Joffy, what a chance. It fell on his right foot, I suppose. But, um, yeah, listen, take the points, put them in the bag, move on to the next game. We've got two amazing tests at home now against second and fourth in the in the division, so it's a good test for us. You've often spoke about the importance of aggression and, and passion in the side, knowing that that was in abundance today. How pleased were you by that? Good. Listen... When, what you talk about is what you what you want your team to look like. It's um, because sometimes we can get over over caught up in the tactics of the game. Sometimes it's you and him, and you have to come out and top in the duels. And um, that's not always. I don't I don't preach just go and fight. I preach football. But um, but when you play against a really good team who are good with the ball and you're away from home and they're going to pass it. And I've watched the last three games and they they move the ball really well. You have to not stand off them. You have to go and tackle them. And, you, and if you give a foul away, that's all right. I told him today about if they're 18 or 19 year old playing today, by the time they're 24, 25, they'll see a different angle of the game. So learn it really fast and don't wait till you're 24, 25 to become the player that you want to be now. So, And I thought they all took that on board and competed all over the pitch. But the referee lost the balance of the game a little bit too many fouls and they all seem to be going to them now whether that was because I'd wound them up too much I'm not sure but um, I think listen, we'll take the three points see the camaraderie of the team the togetherness the amazing support that we have which doesn't surprise us because it's every week but um, yeah ends, ends a disappointing run for us and yet within that run two of them games we should have won to be honest and yet we didn't um, but today we found a way to win so pleased with that and we move on to this the rest of the week some big performances as you've mentioned but a big moment for Abdullah Bar who took his goal really well in the first half yeah I said to Abdullah before the game listen you scored a day son I, I, I told him it was going in the top corner mind you but um, we, we're happy it went in the bottom corner so brilliant for him these lads you know it's, it's, a, it's a fine balance between trying to really integrate them into the team and how we they feel part of our football club I, I try and get them on the pitch I, I try to get them um, feeling as if we all you know love them if that's not too strong a word of, of they're part of our group they're part of our team you have to work hard and, and gain the respect of of the of the other players and of the supporters and of the coaching staff and um, um, they're all speaking English so much better they're doing lots of lessons and um, yeah, you know, come pre-season, they'll just be integrated, part of our squad, part of our group, fully integrated, all doing the English banter and having a bit of English chat and doing the jokes and and, and yeah, that's that's great. And because um, I, I do feel, you know, when they signed my, my first game against Rotherham all them months ago, um, there is a period where it takes for them to integrate into the football club and become part of what the dressing room is all about. Um, Ahmad and Alex Pritchard missed out today. Is there an early prognosis on them too? I think I think not too bad. You know, I, I saw something. Somebody showed me a, a picture on social media that people were thinking he was out for the season. I've had a good chat with Ahmed yesterday, and um, Wednesday might be too soon for him. I'm, I'm not sure, but he, he'll definitely be available next weekend. And um, I think 30 odd games from never never having a run of like three games on the bounce has proven his body's almost shut down really his, his, his hamstrings are really sore and tight but there's no tears there's no damage he's just he's just at a place where um, we need to give him a break take, take him out of the equation for a week at the most and um, and then he'll, he'll finish the season strong I'm sure just finally uh, this result acts as the perfect springboard to go into two home games against Sheffield United and Luton big tests for us again 
Yeah, I think it's second and fourth in the league. It's, uh, it's they're not easy challenges, you know. But I, I, I feel, you know, I see the support that travels today and watches this team. I feel and I hope that the supporters are with the team as long as they see that we're trying to give everything in each game. Some games like last weekend, they they just drift away from you. They go run away from you because of because of the type of teams we play. Now it's. Um, we can't dominate every game, every team. There are all so many different ways to play football and um, and every week is a learning curve for our team on, on when to play long, when to play short, when to pass through teams and when to go over the top of them. And yet the going over the top of teams isn't necessarily there for us at the moment because we don't have size and speed. We don't have Ross Stewart or Ali Sims running down the side of centre-halves and barging them out the way and keeping getting the team up the pitch. It's, it's so much more difficult to get through teams at the moment with the personnel we've got and yet we obviously have two amazing wingers and we've got two young lads behind them who are growing into becoming amazing wingers that we can go down the outside of teams sometimes.